Mohan. Yes, sir. Tell me about yourself. Uh, hi, sir. My name is Mohan Srinivas Gupta. I pursue B.Tech Mechanical Engineering in Hindustan Institute of Technology and Sciences in uh, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. There, I developed uh, some skills on uh, um, 3D designing and development uh, and analysis softwares. Later, I grew interest towards the IT sector. Uh, so, I did a little research. Uh, there, I can came up came up with the developer role. Uh, so I did a little research on the developer role so that uh, I came up with a few results like uh, Java developer and uh, Android developer, web developer. So I chose web developer as a career. Later I joined in the VQ software solutions in Hyderabad uh, so that uh, I can learn uh, required skills of the web development. There I uh, learned uh, skills like HTML, CSS, JavaScript and uh, many more. Uh, currently, I am working on two projects uh, on Angular uh, and the uh, domain project we are going through with the uh, full-fledged uh, front-end, back-end and database. Okay. Okay. How much you rate yourself in uh, Core Java? Core Java uh, on scale of 10, 10. I rate myself uh, 7, sir. 7, right. Okay. <coughs> Let's start with Core Java first. Okay. Okay. Tell me what is the difference between abstraction and uh, encapsulation? Encapsulation is a wrapping of uh, data and methods in a single entity is a class uh, uh, where encapsulation is uh, uh, acquired through classes or objects. Okay. Uh, uh, whereas uh, abstraction is a process of hiding the unknown. Uh, no, uh, process uh, that was done in the background and only is showing the results. Okay. Showing the results uh, oh, related to? Related to the uh, uh, calculations. So if it is showing the results uh, after calculation, why you are saying abstraction? Uh, it's like uh, hiding the inner process. Uh, for example, if there is a method uh, in a uh, is there a class and we had a method in order to reputation of the methods we will create one uh, interference so that uh, we will extract from it uh, and there we will define it so, so there will be duplications it's called abstraction so abstraction will be achieved through interfaces yes, is there another way uh, get such a method okay tell me what is the difference between the uh, protected and unspecified access modifiers Protected, uh, protected means uh, uh, the data or the methods can be uh, acquired from uh, within the class, uh, out of the class by the child and uh, the class itself and the non-child in the same package. Whereas, repeat, uh, repeat, repeat. Uh, if a class is uh, defined as a protected, the class itself can use the properties and the child in the same package can use the properties. And the non-child in the same package can use the properties. A child in some other packages can use the properties, and non-child of some other package cannot use the properties. Whereas in an unspecified, the properties can be used by uh, the class itself. The child in the same package, non-child in the same package, but not uh, by the child or non-child in the uh, some other packages. Okay. So, uh, so if I give you, can you write a class? which represents a blueprint just write any class so that just make sure that ensure that this class is a blueprint yes. so by looking at the class now i should understand that this class is a blueprint okay sir. that's it So you have taken two private variables. You have written a parameter. Parameter is Okay. So what is the need of uh, including the getters and setters in the class? Uh, in order to uh, change, uh, does not change anything value and uh, uh, for a private uh, while we are dealing with the data in the uh, class, we will set it as a private property so that not, nobody can change this. In order to get the properties, we need a uh, methods of uh, same class. So we will set a public uh, getters and setters method. So we can call the data and 
manipulate it from anywhere else in the so is there any benefit if i write getters and setters in the class or uh, like the way you have written uh, constructors parameterized constructor which one is better uh, getters and setters is the better option sir. Uh, okay. because uh, while but we have not written you have written a parameterized constructor mm -hmm. So, uh, would have a better option uh, getter setters if you write getter setters yes, sir. will it not become bl blueprint yes, sir, it will become blueprint okay uh, but uh, the properties i taken are the serial number and the name uh, both are uh, mandatory so i i thought of going with the for example from the front end i'll supply only number not name okay sir. then in that case your uh, your constructor will not work right yes sir then then we will go for the set standard okay. okay tell me what is the difference between compile time and runtime polymorphism compile time uh, compile time uh, polymorphism is a overloading uh, morphism uh, in which uh, two classes have a same method we will overload it uh, one class has a two uh, same methods of a same signature methods which will override a, at the compile time and uh, uh, for the uh, runtime, uh, we will have different classes having the same uh, signature method, which will be overrided. Repeat, to, repeat. One class have two uh, method. Uh, one class have two methods of uh, sign uh, different signatures. Sir. Okay. Uh, which will be uh, changed and uh, which will be over overloaded uh, and compare real time. So, uh, whereas. Uh, at runtime, we will have a two different classes of uh, same signature method, which will be overridden uh, by the uh, child class. Okay, tell me what is the difference between upcasting and downcasting? Upcasting is a process of uh, uh, creating a object to the parent class uh, with referring to the child. Uh, we will uh, create a child reference object and it will set it to the parent class uh, whereas downcasting is not possible in uh, java for that we need to first do the upcasting then we will cast it uh, uh, test class and uh, parent class into the student uh, child class all right chalo let's get into the sql part okay okay chalo uh, tell me the different types of joints in sql a uh, left out joint right out joint inner joint uh, can you write the syntax for can you write an example and syntax for self join? Do we have self uh, keyword? Um, no, sir. Where we use self join? Uh, while we are joining the table with the same table. Okay, so where is the table with the same table? Where it is joined? If you say self, will, will it join? No, sir. Hmm. Can you try again? Yes, try. Okay, leave it. Sure. <coughs> Tell me what is the purpose of subqueries? Subqueries, uh, while well, we have uh, more than uh, one criteria. Uh, we have to write a long uh, one criteria in the sense more than one condition uh, more than one condition sir. then you can uh, write on and operator right yes sir in where class yes sir but uh, well, we need a different type of uh, criteria like group by having and uh, order by okay uh, you can write it all the yes, uh, after after your query you can write it group by having uh, in order, order to uh, Cut it into a block, so we will uh, write what in is the purpose. What is the purpose? Uh, what is the need of uh, making them into blocks? Uh, in order to easily understand rules. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me what is meant by view? A uh, view is uh, uh, like uh, while we are searching through the database, uh, in order to find the uh, respective row needed faster, we will use the view point as a alias names. Okay, let's get into UI part. Tell me what is the difference between events and the event listener? Event is uh, action listeners. Uh, event is uh, uh, we will 
write it in the html part itself uh, whereas uh, add event listeners we will uh, write it in the javascript part can you, you write one example for each look okay. okay tell me how many types of drivers in jdbc and uh, jdbc four types of drivers okay and uh, two thin drivers and two thick drivers uh, first can you tell me what is the difference between serlet and jsp so serlet is a controller uh, which will uh, navigates the uh, data from uh, front end to the dao whereas uh, jsp is a combined version of uh, serlet and front end okay so why can't uh, you use more which one do you use whether jsp is better option or serlet uh, based on the requirement we will use uh, okay so how many types of uh, jsp tags are there jsp tags uh, okay can you tell me at least uh, JS, uh, jsp implicit objects what are the implicit objects we have in jsp no idea sir. okay okay tell me the difference between property binding and uh, event binding in angular property binding is uh, uh, transferring data from the uh, js file to uh, like controller to view whereas event binding is any event filed in the front end will uh, be recognized by the controller okay by the sir by the controller controller um, uh, components sir. okay so can you tell me the difference between uh, input and output decorator input and output decorators uh, will use while uh, exchanging data from uh, two views like uh, the input uh, from where the uh, from which view we are uh, sending the data we will use the input tag uh, input uh, decorator and uh, from which uh, we will getting is uh, we will use output tag. Right, Mohan. That's all uh, from from my side. So.